Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be an episode on the fact that rest of February and may potentially March can be a, will be a very active pattern and I don't think that the cold air will let up too much. It will be some slight moderation. It won't be nearly as cold so there won't be any major cold outbreaks, but the chance for major snowstorm remains pretty high. So this is going to be a very exciting video and exciting pattern that's coming up. So please, guys, consider subscribing and liking the video. It really means a lot. It helps me a ton. So I would, I would just be so happy if you did that right now. Thank you so much. So now let's get right into the video. So here's the first storm that passes off. It was insane. We got 14 inches of snow overall. That was it was it was almost un unimaginable. It was in my dreams that I could have this, and it did happen. So it just goes to show you that it could change in a matter of a couple of days because they did not predict this storm several days out. It changed last second, and I'm starting to look at this storm right here, and I think I'll be making some other videos because there's a potential big storm that's going to be brewing this um, this Friday across much of this much of the Midwest. I mean, look, it's previous model run this is how it looked like it was much more disorganized but now it's starting to get bigger more better handle and it's going to spread out a cold from all the way down into the south so that could mean more snow for the south potentially yes i know very exciting and that's just going to be a very interesting thing to watch for because snow in february mid february in the south is just doesn't happen too often and then there are several more storms that are going to pass by again guys please don't be like oh no my area is not getting snow well these storm tracks are bound to change and they're most likely not going to happen what they're showing right now but you can see another storm passing by then another storm passing by and then another storm passing by so really a very active pattern coming through if we look at a climate and we go weekly for the next couple of weeks Here's the first week. Most most of the country will be warmer than average, which is somewhat true. Not exactly, but I guess we'll have to take with that. And then you could see that the as we go on, it could cool off significantly. And this is March 4th to 11th. And you may be wondering, oh, well, that's too late in the spring to have snow. It's not, guys. If it's going to be colder than the average in March, that just goes to show that there could be a lot of snow in March. And that could potentially, and look, it just continues. But later on, of course, March won't be, it will be hard and hard to get snow later on in March. But it just goes to show you that anything could still happen in March. And that is very concerning because that any big storms could spawn. And those could be blockbuster storms in March, especially if the cold air is there. And we look at La Nina is likely through the Northern Hemisphere winter, an 85 to 95% chance. We go to February, March, April. It's predominant La Nina. If you look what a La Nina is, a La Nina is basically where wet. So cold air comes intruding from the north. It overrides wet, warmer air. And that produces big storms across the eastern half of the nation. We just saw it's one storm that rode pretty much just along this pattern where the jet stream was going down. And there was a boundary that set up and there was just these little disturbances riding along that boundary. So very interesting weather coming up, guys. I do think that there will be several occasions for m more snow. And let's look at the CMC model. Um, you could see here in a minute. Let's bring this back to six hours. This will take a little bit. And the CMC is the Canadian model is basically showing the same thing. Potential for several storms, except these last couple of model runs have been more intense with the snow. So this one, see again, showing a snowstorm, another snowstorm, another snowstorm. So very active. And this only goes out 240 hours, unlike the, G uh, unlike the GFS. So this is very interesting. Stay tuned, guys. As always, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Please consider liking, subscribing the video. See you guys on the next episode.